Hello, it's George Anderson here from intelligentrunning.com and today I want to share with you a, a little video on running breathing techniques. Now this is something I talk about in my Intelligent Running Blueprint and it's something I talk about in my, my, my workshops as well when it comes to technique. But it's still something that a lot of people get wrong and it's actually quite hard to describe in words. So I thought if I could, as in just written words, so I thought if I shot a little video I could do a couple of heavy breathing demonstrations and uh, maybe get the point across a little bit more. So the thing is when you're, when you're running, first of all, you want to be breathing through your mouth. None of this nasal breathing, you don't, you're just not going to get enough air into your lungs if you do that. Unless, the only exception for that would be if you're on a, a very long slow run and your objective is to keep it very, very aerobic and breathing through your nose, I've done this a few times, breathing through your nose, it, it really does make you slow down because, because you're not getting enough air into the lungs and if you speed up then you feel like you have to breathe through the mouth and so that nasal breathing just kind of puts a bit of a cap on your speed. So that's the only time I'd say to use it but normally you want to be breathing in and out through your mouth. So when, when I talk about breathing and the tempo of your breathing I suggest doing it in time with your feet landing on the ground. So for example it, my normal breathing rhythm is a two in two out which really is a one in one out but with two footsteps for each part. Let me show you what I mean. So if I just march it out here, <laughs> hopefully this doesn't look too silly, but if I march it out I'm going to go in, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. So two breaths in and two breaths out. So like I said really it's just one breath in and one breath out but it's kind of a big breath, little breath in, big breath out, little breath out. So once you've established that rhythm, and by the way, if you don't get it straight away when you're out running, don't worry, it does take a bit of practice sometimes. I've had many, many clients in the past who have really struggled to, to pick up this technique straight away. But when you get it, it really does make a big difference. I'll come on to a couple of other um, alternative rhythms and tempos in a moment and when you might want to use them. But let's first of all have a quick think about why it's important to breathe like this in the first place or why getting some kind of a rhythm is important. The reason I think that this works so well and it is so effective is because you've got that, you've got more air coming into your lungs. If you're just breathing, if you're just running along and you're not really thinking about how you're breathing, it's kind of, you know, you're just kind of getting out of breath, then you, you, what's happening is you're, you're, you're not filling, you're filling your lungs with air, you're not getting enough air in to your body in the first place. If the air's not in your lungs, then you're not going to be able to transport that oxygen through the blood, and if it's not in the blood, then it's not going to get to your muscles where it's needed. That's why we, we need to breathe, because we need to feed our muscles and all the cells of our body with oxygen. So by taking this deeper breath in, and the other, the, I've got no scientific fact to basis on this, this is what I think is happening, you've got more time. That air is in your lungs for longer. So you've got to... <sighs> That deep breath in and then a little hole at the top almost, or that mini breath in after the big one, it just gives the oxygen in your lungs longer to get into from the lungs themselves into the bloodstream and for the reverse to happen, for the carbon dioxide in the, in the bloodstream to get out of the bloodstream into your lungs for you to then expel when you breathe out. Now interestingly, I find that it's actually more important to get a a two breaths out and to almost pause at the bottom of the breath rather than to take the two breaths in. So what, uh, let me explain that a little more clear, it probably doesn't make much sense. When I get, for me personally, if I'm running and I'm racing and I'm pushing myself um, to anything more than eight and a half out of ten on an intensity scale, then I will move away from a two in, two out and I'll go into a one in, two out. So my breathing rhythm will, the, the rate will increase so it now goes to more of a so in, out, out, in, out, out. And what that does, it just, it just increases the turnover of air, so I'm getting more air in faster. Now that's not always appropriate if you're running at a slower speed because you don't necessarily want to be kind of hyperventilating like that. It's important if you're running at higher intensities, chances are you're not going to be holding those higher intensities for as long, so your body can handle that higher breathing rate a little bit better. But again, it's something you need to play around with. But what, what I find is that rather than going for a two in, one out, 
definitely for me personally, it always works best going for a one in and two out. So just to recap on that, let's have in, out, out, in, out, out, rather than the two in and two out, which I use for my, my slightly slower runs. And actually one of, one of the things I do when I'm out there on a threshold run, remember the threshold is eight to eight and a half out of 10. When I'm on a threshold run, I will use my breathing to regulate my tempo, my speed. So if I, my breathing feels like it has to go to a one in, two out, then I know I'm going too fast and I'll slow things down. So I will only go as fast as I can and the intensity will build up as high as I can hold a two in, two out breathing rhythm. So that's how you breathe when you run. I hope that's been of some help and cleared up some of the, the, uh, the, the, the mystery of how to breathe when you run. Uh, the important thing I think from all of this is to be aware of your breathing, use the rhythm of your breath, use your feet as they land on the ground to drive the breath in and out of your body and you will become a stronger, faster, fitter runner because of it. I'm George Anderson, I'll speak to you next time.